What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty in DV10. I uh, got a couple cards to show off. Um, just four T206. A couple, um, couple off backs I had picked up uh, here and there. And um, yeah, just figured I'd show these off. Um, first up, we have a uh, really nice Ed Konechi. And this is a uh, 1910 Sovereign 350. Really great image on that. Uh, the Konechi card is kind of interesting. Uh, definitely some weird artwork, as you'll see here. The base, like, where is his leg coming out of his shoulder? <laughs> it's just, oh, just kind of funny. But uh, not not one of the better Tito 6 artworks. But anyways, that is uh, one of the candy apple backs, as you can see here on this other one I've got. That is the forest green versus the candy apple, the color difference there. But uh, Ed Konechi. Really solid card. Uh, I had that card, I think, like, in a, well, I have it in a three, uh, Sweet Capital or Piedmont, but um, got a good chance and a good deal on that Sovereign, so I had to pick that up as well. Uh, next up, kind of spoiled it, but this is um, for the Braves collection. Uh, this is a SGC4, really sharp corners, but uh, unfortunately, this card, the registration is not, not the best. I have a five in this card as well. And uh, the registration is much better, but nonetheless, this is a tough pickup for the Boston National League team, which is the Doves, aka the Braves, later on down the line. But uh, this is a really, really nice card, Sovereign 350. A little bit of backy staining on the back there. But we'll take it. That's definitely going to get a new slab. That thing is mega ancient. Um, next up, two cards left. Uh, two really, really nice cards. Uh, I don't even know which one to start with first. Uh, let's see. You know what? We'll start with this one. Uh, this was a really good eBay grab. Uh, the seller kind of had bad title on this, and I was definitely able to take advantage of that. But this card is absolutely stunning. This is a uh, really tough off-back pose as well. Uh, Bill Shipke. Man, look at that thing. What a beautiful three. Holy smokes. Just a little bit of soft corners. No creasing at all. Just a great, great card. Uh, this is a Sovereign 150. Really tough back. Great combo. Love it. Love it, love it. So that was a really nice visual pickup. I had a three. Actually, I still have this card like in a three, I think, of something. No, no, I sold that to Max. <laughs> I had this card in, a, I think, a two Sovereign 150 and also a Piedmont. So I sold both of those uh, because this one uh, was the same grade. So I kept the off back. And, uh, yeah, really happy to get that. So I know I've had a lot of Sovereigns in this video. Um, but the last card is uh, much tougher than any of these. Uh, and pretty tough off back subject in general. Um, we've got an American Beauty and uh, yeah, this is a good one. So Toronto, uh, as you'll probably notice uh, upon first glance, you might think, man, that card looks kind of slim. Borders on that are definitely not as wide. And I uh, guess you would be correct. The American Beauty cards, um, whether they were trimmed at the factory or trimmed by whoever was inserting them in the tobacco packs, they are in fact trim and are recognized that way in the hobby. Um, you know, as being made that way. So uh, don't freak out if you see some of these in the wild with an American Beauty back and it's slightly uh, thin compared. So this is American Beauty 350 with frame. So there are some of these that uh, do not have a frame. This one has the frame. American Beauty back's really cool. Uh, these are really starting to get, um, get hot and hobby. I picked this up. Uh, God, it's been on my desk for a year. Oof. All right, wow. He needs to get uh, in his uh, in his home. But yeah, uh, again, lots of bad info out there by um, influencers and other people in the hobby. Uh, some of it they don't they don't know what they're talking about. Some of it they're not they're not meaning to be uh, unknowledgeable. They're just unfortunately wrong in some situations. Not, they're not trying to be misleading. They just they just don't know what they're talking about. So. Uh, if you see one of these in the wild, again, don't hesitate, um, per se, if it is an American Beauty back that looks a little thinner. So, 
really, really happy to, to add this. Um, anyways, Dick Rudolph was a key member of the uh, 1914 Braves World Series team. So really cool to have that. And that is really all I've got today. I've got a ton of other stuff I will show off in uh, another video because they kind of deserve their own. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.